What is up, you guys? Today is my favorite day, uh, the end of the month. I love the end of the month because the end of the month is the day that I get to look back at my monthly stats um, and see how I've done, see what I can improve on. Um, and that's always really fun to me. Um, I get to kind of geek out over that. Um, you know, rather than looking at the the day to day and getting bogged down if you have like, you know, two back to back red days or you didn't have a great week. Like I think the month overall is a really good um, description and of like how you're actually doing as a trader. Um, and I just I love looking at it. It's so fun. I actually have a screenshot of my, uh, my graph over here of my p and I've cut off the amount because that doesn't matter. No one cares. I mean, people probably care, but I'm not going to show it. Um, this is, so this is my graph for the month. Oh, here, let me get my pin out. Yeah, so that's my graph for the month. And, um, you know, it's it's interesting to take a look at because uh, you can see that like the other day I had like my biggest day ever here. Um, and since then I've had a couple of hard days. Um, definitely went to my head a little bit, I think. But, you know, overall the month as a whole was, you know, really good, you know. This looks like a great trend. It's a it's a bull market on my chart, <laughs> um, but you know so, you know if you have a bad I just, like I just want to say that like you know if you have a bad day you know don't let it get you down too much you know all, there's always room for improvement no matter what like even I can like this is charts going up but I I'm, I'm looking at my detailed stats you know um, or I was a little bit earlier and there are still things I can improve on you know cutting my losses a little bit sooner. Um, recognizing when I am not trading my strategy you know there are are days where you can tell on my detail that um, on my like detailed stats for the month where I just, you know, wasn't trading um, at my finest and I need to be better about recognizing that. But, you know, overall, it was a very good month. Um, I just I like to be critical about it and, you know, continue to improve and fine tune it and um, just become better. And I think that's what's fun about being a trader is you can always you can always become a better trader. You can always become a better version of yourself. And um, yeah, that's my uh, that's my pep talk for the day. Um, but yeah, overall a good month, and um, I'm excited to see what April brings. And yeah, that's that's my speech. All right, so let's get into today. Uh, you know, this week, like I said, I had a really good day on Monday, and it's been a little bit difficult since that. Um, I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's the stocks I'm picking. Um, well, actually, I do know it's me. <laughs> so that's I mean that's part of it. Uh, part of it is also um, you know yeah, it's me. <laughs> time in my entries, uh, sticking to my strategy. I've struggled with that a little bit this week. Um, but let's uh, let's get into what today looked like and what it, what we had in store. So um, this morning, we're sitting between two weekly levels um, or daily levels, I guess, um, on the SPY. And, you know, R3 was somewhere up here. Our, yeah, and S3 was somewhere down here. And so, you know, we're sitting, we're opening between pivots, we're opening between weekly levels. This has been happening a lot lately. Um, there's only been a couple of days recently where we opened near key levels or pivots. Um, and those those days were, you know, pretty fun to play. Um, what I found interesting was, here, and I can show you where I get these uh, levels at. Let's just zoom in. So the bottom one is the tippy top of this little candle right here, um, where you can see that it had resistance at one point. And then the top of it is the tippy bottom, I guess you would call it, of this candle here. Um, and we've rejected it about three times um, since we've tried to get up here. Uh, there's been three times this week where, where we attempted to break through it, maybe even four. I'm not, I can't remember. Um, but anyways, so, you know, this was resistance at one point and then it became support, right? And then it became resistance again. Um, you know, and now we're trying to, we're trying to break above it and hold. So, you know, this 554 or like 553-ish area, just right in here is really key um, right now. And I think that this is where we're gonna wanna be watching for stuff um, in the coming you know, weeks or day, or who knows how fast the market will move, but I'm definitely gonna be watching that tomorrow, see what happens um, with that. You can see that we lost it at the end of the day today and we're trying to you know, just kind of push back to it in the um, after hours, but we'll see what happens. Um, so this morning, um, oh, one thing, these uh, daily levels, uh, oops, let me zoom out. Let me zoom out. Okay, so these daily levels that I just showed you or weekly levels that I just showed you are right here. Um, so the midline of that is right here at 458. Um, so this morning I did mention some stuff in the chat about how, you know, when we're at these midlines, it's a place to watch for what would be considered like midline defense. So the bulls are going to be wanting to try to hold it over the middle of this, right? And the bears are going to be wanting to push it um, down. 
So it's a key, pretty decent level. It's a key level. It's usually, you know, a place that I pay attention to. I don't normally enter trades when we're near it, which I did today. Um, but I definitely look for those areas for profit taking on the stocks that I'm trading. Um, but yeah, definitely just, you know, some, some little tidbits to, uh, keep in your, keep in your mind, keep, keep on your radar. Okay. So, um, today I'm just going to get the nasty one out of the way because let's just rip the bandaid off. I traded Elsid terribly. Um, I was looking at, let's go to the daily chart. I was looking at this uh, area here on the daily um, and I was looking as we were pushing up against the bottom of the of this range. Yesterday we got over it and I thought, you know, maybe we'd come back down, test it, and then we'd continue to, um, back into the range. Um, and I, what I did was I set a limit order out and um, I got filled and then immediately flushed that level and uh, stopped me out. Um, and instead of just, you know, letting it come back to the level and play it somehow, maybe I could have taken it short here, even if it had come back to this or whatever. Um, I just immediately got back in thinking I was going to like turn this around with my <laughs> five shares. <laughs> um, so yeah, that didn't work out and I got stopped out and then I got in one more time. So I did this three times. Um, you know, this first one, that's a fine trade, even though it's a loser, it's totally fine because that was my plan. Um, these two down here should not have happened. So those are things for me to, um, you know, get better at and work on and journal about. Um, those, my, any of my red days or um, any of my like kind of negative, more negative stats are on these types of trades. So, um, you know, my hit rate for this area playing at this level is typically pretty high. But as soon as I start throwing these kinds of things in, um, my hit rate goes down, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, okay, so yeah, else it, I ended up just like, you know, cutting it here. I actually thought about flipping it here. Um, actually, I did try to flip it here and then immediately got out of it. And I like had to like snap myself out of it. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, this isn't even, that's your play up there. All right, so yeah, we ripped the bandit off. We don't want to see any more of that crap in April. That's all I have to say. Um, but you know, I have days like that and my stats are still going up. So at least there's that. Um, and then I can just fine tune and like pick it apart and get better. Um, so the other one that I traded was, uh, I traded Twitter. Um, and what I was looking at on Twitter was this weekly area here. So this area here, um, we are right at the top of it. So we broke through that. Um, I believe it was two days ago, a couple days ago. Uh, yeah, two days ago. Yeah. Um, we, uh, bounced off this level and we had this nice move up. So that would have been an awesome, uh, play, you know, most, you know, it started in the after hours. So that's unfortunate, but, um, we came back down, uh, yesterday and I thought, okay, good. We're like back at that level. Let's, you know, maybe take it for, um, a bounce, like some kind of a bounce play. Like I wasn't expecting a huge move just because the market seemed like it wasn't going to be very strong. Um, it was really struggling at that midline. Um, so, you know, I was actually expecting to just take a move up to here and I was going to take a pretty heavy partial and then I was just going to um, hold and see if it, you know, got any further. But um, unfortunately, I've caught, so I put out a limit order here um, and it, you know, grabbed me and bounced and I had my stop loss down here, um, grabbed me, bounced, and I was like, all right, cool. Um, I'll catch the ride back up to PDC. Um, and then it just kind of chopped around for a while. And then I was looking at it on the five minute chart um, on my other screen and I saw it flush through this level on, you know, decent volume for like, you know, how the morning was. It just did not have a lot of volume today either way, but, um, you know, for today that was a decent amount of volume. So when it flushed that level, I thought, oh, actually, I think I might be short at my level because the market's not really breaking out either. Um, I'm going to flip short. So I flipped short um, and then it immediately came back up and I was like, ah, someone bought at this level. And um, I flipped back to my long position because that's what I originally wanted anyways. Um, and then unfortunately, I just held through all this for like four hours, um, but it, it hadn't come back down to my level yet. So I was like, well, I'm still above the level. So above the level, we're long, uh, below the level, we're short. Um, so I just stayed in it. Um, and then right before I got on the mic today, um, in the BBT chat, I decided to hit out of it because I didn't want to think about it anymore while I was on there. And then finally that happened. Uh, so, you know, had the right idea, just apparently I was supposed to hang out with this for like another 
only another 30 minutes. When you've gone four hours, what's 30 more minutes? I don't know. I was just like, after that Elsid mess this morning, I was like, you know what? I don't really want another loss today. Um, I'll just, I'm just going to hit out of this, but eventually it did get up to PDC. I called it. <laughs> um, and then I got one nice move off of MU today. Um, let me just take this off. I was drawing that for partials and if I wanted to exit. Um, let's see, on the weekly, we have this range on MU, this kind of guy right here, and we're right at the bottom of it, right? So it was support at one point and we tried to get back above it here, uh, support here. Um, so I'm watching the bottom of this range and this morning, I actually didn't think that we were going to come all the way down here on MU, so I did not have this on my watch list to begin with. But I mean, look at this move. So I'm pretty sure S3 is down here. Let's put that on real quick. Oops. Yeah, so this made a nice reversal off of S3 this morning. My level is up here, but this made like, I mean, look at that move. That's incredible. Um, so I saw this later in the day as we were kind of downtrending. And I thought, you know, I want to see what happens when we get to this area here. And if you zoom in, you can see that um, on the volume, right? There's not a lot of volume. It's just kind of steady volume. And then we get this guy here um, and as we're pushing up to the level. So I went long for the break of the level. Um, and then we got this nice igniting volume um, to push through the level. And, you know, I got a couple partials out of it. You know, ideally I would have liked to move to 80, but it already did that today. So that was... That would have been that was the move you know that would have been the move um and then the market rolled over and so i just got out here um plus it was in the, the end of the day so not much more time for it to get where i was hoping that it would go um tomorrow might be interesting you know if we continue this in the after hours in the pre-market this consolidation below the level i'll be very interested in it um, i love these plays where the range there's like a smaller time frame range sets up right near the uh higher time frame range so i love those ones i haven't seen really any of those uh lately so um haven't been able to play them but um yeah that was my day um you know a couple winners a couple losers um mostly just elsid and me playing something that i should not have been playing um also elsid's short flow i believe is a little bit higher than what's like what i consider like safe um short floats higher short floats can be fun for like um if you want you know momentum or squeezes or you know you're like a, a trader that's just getting in and out um but sometimes they can be difficult for me um, in these like more like trend trading types. Um, you know, ORBs are good with those and um, and stuff, but but not necessarily for my style of trading. So LCID has a little bit of a higher one than I think I normally play, or at least it used to. I don't know if it's still as high. I, have, I actually haven't looked. Um, I think it used to be like 15 or 16, which I think less than 10 is like the best kind of trade because you get like steady movement. Um, but that's just me. Anyways, this is a very winded recap. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed it and are hanging in there. Um, Hopefully you do a monthly review because I think the monthly review is like the best thing. Um, weekly reviews are good too. Daily reviews are good. Um, but the monthly review, when you really get to digest how your month went and what you can do better for the next month, I think it's super fun. Um, it's so fun that I'm wearing my fun shirt for it. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Thank you for watching this long winded recap. I will catch you guys tomorrow for April 1st, April Fool's Day. All right, guys. Catch you later. Peace.